variant of concern. That's the word from the World Health Organization on this Black Friday about a new strain of COVID-19. Thanks for joining us here on Cron 4 News at 3. I'm Ella Sigamonian. The new variant, which is called Omicron, has been classified as highly transmissible, the same category as the Delta variant. Cron 4's Rob Nesbitt has been speaking with experts to find out more about this, so he joins us now live in the newsroom with details on what exactly they're saying, Rob. Ella, infectious disease experts in Northern California say that from what they can tell so far, Omicron is a variant of concern, but not a variant to cause panic. Still, its classification by the World Health Organization as the U has caused the U.S. to join the European Union, instituting travel restrictions on visitors from eight countries, including South Africa, Botswana, and Zimbabwe. The White House did not give details on the new travel ban, except to say that restrictions will not apply to returning U.S. citizens or permanent residents. According to the California Department of Public Health, there are no known cases of the Omicron in the state. The variant was first discovered by South African authorities. Infectious disease specialist and professor of medicine at UCSF, Dr. Monica Gandhi, says that country's vaccination rate of only 26% in South Africa says a lot. She believes that anyone in the U.S. who is fully vaccinated has less to be concerned about when it comes to Omicron. People were asymptomatic if they were fully vaccinated, even if they had it in their nose. That proves the vaccines work against this variant. So the best thing we can do is get vaccinated and get the world vaccinated. According to the CDC, around 59% of Americans are fully vaccinated. Dr. Gandhi says every country needs to reach 75% to stop the spread of Omicron and other variants. Live in the newsroom, I'm Rob Nesbitt, Cron 4 News.